This is the reason for the video. Um, as you can see, the remnants, I hope you can see, of what was once one of my chickens, one of 16 that uh, was only maybe a week or two away from beginning to lay. I have a chicken yard here. I'm in uh, Northwest Florida. And uh, this is my third year with chickens. I've never really had an issue too much with uh, chicken hawks until just recently. And of course, what I'm showing you over here happened three days ago. I no longer have 16. Molly, move. I no longer have 16. I have 15. And that's sad to see the remnants of uh, what was left after the chicken hawk came down. So what I've decided to do is, I'm hoping you can see this in the early morning uh, sun, I've strung wire, which is electric fence wire across from the trees that I have inside the chicken yard and positioned about every six to eight feet um, CDs that you can get it. Well, I got mine at Walmart. Got a pack of 50 for about $13. They came in a package like this. CDs, I guess, really aren't used that much anymore. But, uh, yeah, I think I paid $13, and there's 50 of them in there. The beauty of these is that this side here, when it moves in the sunlight, just really, as you can see, is is pretty bright and pretty evident for hopefully a bird of prey that might be flying over that sees it. If there's any movement at all with the wind, uh, they really flash. So what I did was I strung my, my uh, fence wire, electric fence wire, which I got from uh, Tractor Supply. That 17 gauge, quarter of a mile, I think it was like 12 or $13. So I got about $26, $27 in the entire uh, project here and I strung the wire across from tree to tree I wanted it up high enough that that I could walk under it so it's probably eight feet at the slowest point to probably nine or ten feet at this highest point and I strung these uh, these CDs on the wire and to make sure they didn't slide all up in a wad on a windy day I used a little short piece of wire I don't know something around about six inches like that I wrapped it around the uh, supporting wire and then uh, turned the tabs up on each side of the CD after running it through the hole in the CD so that it keeps them in place they can't slide back and forth along the wire in case we get wind, which we do. So, and actually, as I was finishing it up yesterday, it was, it was kind of breezy. And the, uh, the upside to it, that I hope will be an upside, is that as the breeze moves them and the sun picks up on that one side and kind of flashes it, it literally is almost like strobe lights hitting the ground everywhere. So I'm hoping that all of that movement and, and the reflection of the sun off the CDs uh, onto the ground and maybe even up into the air where the, the hawks are watching and preying on the chickens, I'm, I'm hoping it will make them uncomfortable enough that they don't want to make a pass through here. So we shall see. Uh, yes, I have bees too. Uh, <laughs> Molly, you do not want to... Um, Say good morning to, to Mr. Rooster that way. Molly, you guys do not need a confrontation this early in the morning. Molly, come over here. <laughs> She's more curious than anything. But anyway, the, bee, the bees are in my uh, chicken yard because um, uh, just another issue that you wouldn't be interested in uh, is just being with the chickens. But uh, beekeepers having a real problem with uh, what they call a small hive beetle which is a little beetle that loves to get in the hive and it will just destroy a hive right quick if you get infested with them. But I found that chickens love those beetles. Uh, the beetles actually come up out of the ground and get into the hive and you know how a chicken is. They are always scratching looking for bugs. So my theory is that if I keep my bees in the chicken yard, 
that the chickens will be a natural predator toward the small hive beetles and maybe keep that population down. That's also an experiment as this, <laughs> the CDs, and it, it looks pretty, pretty cool in the afternoon. It looks very festive, almost like I put up Christmas lights over my, my chicken yard, but uh, I, will, uh, I will post something later after we've had some time passed to determine whether or not this is actually working. Uh, time will tell. Uh, I know there are many different uh, ideas out there as to how you can uh, keep your, chicken, your chickens safe from uh, the predators, in particular hawks, which seem to be the most cunning ones that come from the air. And did a little research on that, and uh, those of you who may not know, and I don't mean to insult the intelligence of anyone here, but uh, there is a, uh, a federal law that prohibits the taking down of a bird of prey, which is red-tailed hawks included in that, which is uh, what I'm having a problem with. So I'm not gonna go down that road. I'm just hoping that this will confuse them enough that I'm assuming uh, I've never actually seen a hawk make a pass at a chicken. I saw a hawk pick up a full-size cat one day, and when they, when the one that I saw, when he went into his attack mode, um, he literally tucked his wings and came down like a rocket. And then at the last minute, he, his talons came down, and he kind of put on the brakes and uh, grabbed that cat and was going back up uh, almost within a heartbeat. I mean, it was an amazing thing to watch in Mother Nature, but uh, they're very good at what they do when they decide they see something on the ground that uh, they need for, for dinner. And then uh, chickens uh, are probably one of their, their tastiest. So uh, that's what I've done. If you want to try this, we'll get you a roll of um, the cheapest wire 17 gauge, 14 gauge is thicker and more expensive, but 17 gauge is, is plenty thick enough. Uh, you can pick that up at any uh, farm supply store. Mine came from Tractor Supply. And then get you a, a package of CDs. There was 50 in this package for, I think like I said, 13 bucks. And uh, just use a, a nail and a hammer into the tree stretched them out, put the CDs on. And one thing I forgot to mention, I actually turned them, uh, uh, this one here, I would turn facing one way. That's facing into the east, because it's morning now. That's looking into the sun, and you can see the, the reflection that's coming off of it. It's, it's pretty bright. And then the next one, I would turn the other direction, because only that one side actually uh, changes colors and gets really bright when the sun is hitting it. So you can see that one's not is reflected there and then the other one I turned the other way so I just alternated the back and forth so that whether it's morning or afternoon at least some of them are reflecting that side from the sun most of my wires are running east-west so that helps so the chicken yard has been uh, hopefully uh, uh, safeguarded <laughs> from the hawk and uh, time will tell thanks very much for watching